we all deserve forgiveness. And I continue, I will now continue to choose to forgive my son. I want to help him. I want to help get the word out to other people so these kinds of things don't continue to happen, like the Sandy Hook shootings in Connecticut, the Columbine. They're all related. They're all video game related, every one of them. And, Katie, if I can add, it's not just his dad who's forgiven him. His two sisters have forgiven him, mm -hmm. and they come to visit him, and he is just in awe of the fact that his family has wrapped their arms around him and uh, continues to love him. He, and his, his grandpa and grandma, too. He is not eligible for parole until he serves 23 years. Does he? Did he talk at all, Deborah, about the future? He did, and that surprised me because I would think that at this stage, he's 20-something years old, I would think that he would just feel his life is lost. What is there to think about? But believe it or not, he actually does. He quoted Emerson, Katie. He reads a lot in prison. He said that he groveled for a long time. All he thought about was this horrible crime and his uh, horrible, remorseful state. And now he's trying to move forward and think about the future. He's hopeful because he would be, what, 40 years old when he got out of prison if it did happen. And I think he wants to try to be a better person, a better man, and he really is trying to make something of himself. Mm -hmm. Dr. Michael Wellner is here. He is one of America's top forensic psychiatrists. He's also the chairman of the forensic panel. Dr. Wellner, we heard what Mark said. He wants to spread the word and believes that these mass shootings are video game related. Do you believe that to be the case? What influence do you think they have on these people who play them obsessively for hours on end? I would submit that in this case that uh, your son had a pathological attachment to playing video games, but the killing happened when they were taken away from him. It's a very different pathway from the Lanzas and the Breviks and the Mohammed Maras. The, the key attachment connection between mass shooting and video game violence is that the mass shooters use the video games as training videos mm -hmm. and they use them in order to help them detach because you have to be alienated from everybody to kill anyone. This is a very different crime. This is a crime that happened in the home and I would tell you that if I had to characterize it, I would say that it's an emancipation murder. It's a person who is in a hostile, dependent relationship with his strict father who looks at other homes that are more permissive he says, I want to be free. And the role of video game violence, just based on what we scientifically understand, is that blood and gore do feed the arousal. They feed the arousal of hostility. Teenagers need to get a message. You know something? If you kill your parents, not only do they not come back, but the freedom that you're looking for is 20-odd years in prison, and that's not free.